So, where was I? Let's start with Trump, I suppose. Let's piss people off right out the gate, as we do. Donald Trump has been shot at again. There were gunshots in the vicinity of Trump, and uh, this was a little bit surprising because I think he had made a, a um, this was at Mar-a-Lago, he had made like a last-second diversion to be like, actually, I want to go do some golfing. So he went to Mar-a-Lago unscheduled. And while he was there, someone tried to shoot at him. Um, this person, uh, what he did, I don't have a picture for this, but uh, there was a picture. He had hung up two backpacks full of uh, like le level four ceramic plates and then kind of snuck in between the two backpacks on the, the chain link fence and put his muzzle through the, the links and tried to shoot at him. And uh, he didn't hit. He was also, I think the guy was captured alive. He was arrested. So um, his plates worked, I guess. He, I think he took a couple shots and then ran away, and they did catch him. So He's a little bit of like a weirdo. Uh, he's a registered Republican, but that's because Democrats in the U.S., Democrats and Republicans register as the opposite party so that they can vote in the, um, the closed primaries. And Florida is a closed primary state, so you have to be a registered Republican to vote in the primaries, but you can vote for whoever you want in the general. So... If you want to fuck with the Republicans, you register as a Republican, you vote for Ron DeSantis instead of Trump, you hope that Ron DeSantis clinches the nomination because you believe that DeSantis has a lower chance of winning than Trump does. Then come the general election, you vote for whoever you want. Uh, so the, the liberals are saying that this guy was a um, Republican because he was registered as one, although that's not likely. Um, he is... Is he from Hawaii or does he just own a business there? Economical structures to address the highest homelessness rate in the United States due to unparalleled gentrification. The extremely high cost of land, building materials, labor, and ridiculous government regulation makes affordable housing extremely challenging in this environment. So I guess there's so much homeless people <laughs> in Honolulu because it's just a bunch of islands, I guess. Who the fuck would want to live in Honolulu? Just live in Florida. The climate can't be that different, can it? I've never been to Hawaii. I kind of want to go to Hawaii now. I don't even like Hawaii. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really like hot climates. But I'm like, I've never been to Hawaii. I wonder if it's nice. Maybe it is. Anyways, it's unrelated. Um, he's like a politisberg. He just spurs on fucking zitter all the time. I have thousands of Afghan solders, soldiers that wish to serve for the Haiti National Police at cheap wages. One thousand with passports ready to fly. And then there's a. Oh, he's also like a pro-Ukrainian, and he was trying to like help with um with aid, and he's he's just like all over the place, and he's fucking schizophrenic. As an American, I plan to fly to Ukraine and join the fight ag against aggression. We live in a civilized society where war puts Putin in line with Hitler. It is not wise or humane. I would beg off all civilians to stop what they are doing and go to Ukraine oppose this. Trying to convince people to fly to a foreign country and fight for their government so that uh, Putin does not take more of eastern Ukraine. He also says, I would like to buy a rocket from you. I wish to load it with a warhead for Putin's Black Sea Mansion bunker to end him. Can you please give me a price, please? It can be old and used as not returning. Um, so this was him trying to solicit Elon Musk to allow him to build a weapon of mass destruction. I don't think he was he was uh, successful in accomplishing this. Oh, this is what he was doing, huh? He was building, like, plywood sheds on wheels. Oh, we found we found you a house for the acreage. Finally, I can, I can afford to build a house in today's challenging economic conditions. Yeah. In D.C. and Kiev to provide soldiers for the war effort, and that's him. That's our boy. He looks insane. You can just look at some people and know that's a fucking crazy person. That's a fucking. He is in Kiev. Holy shit! He actually flew out to Kiev to take a picture in front of the um, Archangel. Michael, that's interesting. What a nut. What kind of fucking lunatic flies to Ukraine? Only only the most insane people, Chad. Only the most biggest lunatics. Oh, well. 
Who knows why he wanted to shoot Donald Trump? Maybe even stalker children. Jackie Singh knows. As she says, OS and analysis thread about Ryan Ruth, the man who allegedly directed an assassination attempt at Donald Trump's life today. Oh, I want the actual... I want the actual... I want the good stuff. Give me give me the full hacking butts. Ms. Hacking butts. What what have we got today? Oh, I see Elon's website is running very quickly. By the way, I have done some programming work in the last week. Um I've been a little bit uh set back because oh I can't fucking view this. Hold up. Let's go to steel graphs fucking I didn't get as much work done as I wanted to because I've been playing Dota <laughs> again. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I, I, I'm feeling kind of disheartened by Dota. I've been playing Turbo because I don't have enough time to really sit down and play like 45 minute long games. But it just doesn't feel like anybody's trying. Like I'm on top of my game. I'm finishing with like 10 kills, 5 deaths. And it's just like my team's not even fucking trying. Like, they're not even awake. Like, not. Hello? Hello, you want to cast your spells, buddy? You want to group to group up for a team fight? Hello. Oh no, you just you just want to sit there and and cry in all chat and not do anything. Okay, I guess next game will be better, and then the next game is not better. <sighs> oh, the hamsters. That's right. Very important. Let's see. Uh, Trump's would-be assassin, Ryan Wesley Ruth, his Facebook and website indicate he's been working an active PSYOP campaign on behalf of Russia to recruit volunteers for Ukraine. <laughs> I invite those with Ukraine-specific knowledge to examine the website fightforukraine.com.ua. Um, and that's the... We currently need Afghan special forces. Okay, is this site still up? Or is this like down now? Oh, it's still up. Pay 1200 USD per month for all ages, genders, and skill levels, including none. That's not very much money. And it's a pretty decent looking website. What is this? Is this made in like in in WooCommerce or uh, WordPress? I don't know. This is probably just a WordPress.org site. Get to Poland. <laughs> you do not need a visa. Simply get all. <laughs> Simply gather all of your military gear and fly to Krakow. Take an inner city train to Przemysl. Take a local train to Maduka, Medica, Medica, and make your way to the border with Ukraine. Tell the border guard you want to join the International Legion, and they will take you to the office and meet with Nazar and the leaders. If you do not have military experience, you must sell yourself that you are capable. They will run your passport and go through your phone to make sure you are not Russian. If accepted, you go directly to the nearby base and train. There's a tent located alongside the sidewalk to the border to the Foreign Legion. It is very casual. You can sell yourself there to be shipped to their base in Western Ukraine. If all else... So if you... <laughs> so these are your options. Go to Poland. Ask for the International Legion. Ask for the Foreign Legion. Or if all else fails, cross the border to Ukraine. Take a bus to Lviv. Go to... Uh, take a train to Kiev. And then get in touch with him in particular. And then he will just call up the actual military combat units and say, Hey, we have fucking cannon fodder here. Do you, where do you want them? And then they'll just send your dumbass to get killed by an artillery shell in a trench somewhere. That's great. That's a great plan. Okay. There are many signals in the te text indicating that the website and his operation were a PSYOP. The goal right now will be to paint him as a supporter of Ukraine. However, 
I will demonstrate why we should be very suspicious of this narrative, which Roosh worked very hard to sneed. Here is a running similar PSYOP for the CCP. Okay. The Taiwan Foreign Legion. Okay, so there's another Foreign Legion website. I don't get it. Chinese state media photographed him in a demonstration in Ukraine to help establish he was pro-Ukraine. Um, Taiwan state media also ran a piece saying Ruth had nothing to do with opposing China's position on Taiwan. What does that mean? Ruth, Ruth really wanted to be seen as a pro-Ukraine guy. A journalist wrote about him at the demonstration. In fact, they said he was the one who staged it. See the translated demon caption below. Okay. Here's a video of Ryan Ruth, if you'd like to hear him speak about this himself. Okay. Mm, let me try changing it. I'm, I'm curious what, what Shitskin's point is. Like, there has to be a point. A thousand people like that tweet. What did they see? What did they know? Okay, is this in Ukrainian? What's this? Uh, we need to show the support that we have from the international community around the world. If governments will not send their troops, civilians have come here to support Ukraine and support humanity. So we have to celebrate every single human that's come here to sacrifice their, their time and their money and go to the front line, lines and sacrifice their, their, their livelihood. They are heroes and we cannot have governments that disregard the fact that, that people have come here from around the world. To he really doesn't sound like a Russian spy to me. Support Ukraine and get shot at by the Russians and, and we can't ignore that. We have 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 humans that have come here to fight and that is the most, most wonderful thought in the world that they would sacrifice the possibility of getting killed. And um, this they said, by 2024, he was disillusioned and angry. He was kicked out of Ukraine, and they were warning people about him. He texted this spring that he would laugh with the rest of the world when Ukraine falls. He was clearly mentally disturbed. So he was like a genuine, like mentally ill person. He went to Ukraine. He set up all these websites to try and get more people fighting in Ukraine. And they were like, bro, you're like low IQ. You're like a liability. You got to go. And then he said, okay, well, fuck you guys. I hope Putin wins. If you don't want me, I don't want you. And then Jackie Singh thinks, oh, he's a Russian spy because of this. Okay, so that's, that's her point. I got you. Why do I believe that he was a spy? The website associated to be a sophisticated... This, this is a sophisticated, multi-layered... PSYOP. The extreme rhetoric, unrealistic demands, and encouragement of re reckless behavior seem to be to discredit legitimate Ukrainian support, potentially escalate the conflict, and create division among Ukraine's allies. You need to have run this shit through a fucking AI generator to make your fucking point for you. You know, she's got hands like the size of catcher mitts so that she, so that she can shit in the street and not wipe her ass. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!